we have few in our group like this. So they think semi slicks are more safer than God. There are a bunch of idiots everywhere in all the groups. We also had them. Maybe I was also one of them. Yeah, but I never put a GTR logo on my Honda. No, I didn't do that. I have seen Lancer Type R. I have seen Audi AMG. I would like to tell you on that point one more thing. Car clubs are good nowadays. For example, like for Audi, there will be one group. For Mini Cooper, there's one group. For Lexus, there's one group. For Honda, there's one group. But the thing is, we used to have mixed car group. We were car enthusiasts. We used to love cars. Nowadays, people, they like car brands more than cars. So an FT86 guy will always speak about FT86. He will never, never, never praise a Honda. A Honda guy will always praise a Honda, Honda, Honda and he will hate the rest. They will never see that the Volkswagen can handle better than us. Shift better than us because of his DSG transmission or something. I will never choose German. Yeah, they have quite good cars. Audi 80, the old Quattro. The Mercedes 190 AMG GT version. Then they had the Koenigsegg version of 560 SEC. But those cars are good to look. They're not good on your pocket. So I'm looking from the perspective of everything. Okay. Rupesh is always a track boy. He's a good guy. But yeah, me, James and few other guys. There are some bad guys also with us, but you need to finger them and charge them a lot. One of them is Devan. I need to tell him, press, 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 press. And from here till Alkuz, I'll keep on telling him going next to him, press, 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 press. He will press once. So we do have such assholes as well. Track is a different game where you know where the turn is going to come. You need to brake, you need to do this and everything. And track is a complete different feeling. But I would like to request the young generation before doing anything on the street or on the track. Check your car's stability, tires, brakes, the most important thing. These three things, if you don't have in the car, please do not fuck around on the street. Because it's not just yourself that you are risking. It's everyone that you are risking is around you. And if you don't have the confidence, just do it just because you think that, okay, I'll press the accelerator and I'll go through the gap. No, that's not it. You need to have the judgment. And then there will be some stupid ass drivers also who think that semi-slick tires and Brembo brakes can help them. So they think semi-slicks are more safer than God and Brembo brakes can help them brake anywhere. Not everything can go to the garage. Yeah, I'll go to the garage, I'll give them, they'll fix it. Spark plugs can be done below your house. Man. Do it. Learn it. What will happen next? One 10 number bolt you will break. That everyone has broken in their life. I still don't know how to properly fix a H4 bulb. Being very honest, because that fucking spring action lock behind, at times it goes, it does not go. So it's that way, you know, but yeah, do it, guys. Do it. Learn it. When you learn it the hard way, you will never forget it. Go to the garage, pay your father's money, get it done, nee. do it yourself. Learn what you need. Not just because somebody has done something to the car, you do the same thing, you will get the same power. Never. Do something which you want to do, you will feel happy about. When my 33 was under basic maintenance, when I just bought it, 32 was sold because of my stupid friends. And I went and I bought Skyline R33 behind Sharjah College. So I went over there, I saw one olive green Lulu color R33. Dusty to the core. Went and popped the hood, saw everything inside was chrome. And I saw the car, it had those GT R33 original rims, the multiple spoke ones in chrome. And car was looking like wow, a show car and a race car and everything. Opened the trunk of the car, found nose cans and I was like man this car is something for sure I'll start with the accident got a Corolla on rent the guy comes up to me like sir please drive slowly only 80 kilometers on the speedometer brand new car sir like you don't worry I'm coming back from Garud crossed Wafi only one radar crossed the radar gave it nicely by the time on top of Garud bridge I was like 160 got that curve down nicely to 10 was the last speed I remember seeing it before entering the tunnel which goes to city center. The moment I saw that tunnel and I remembered the angle, I braked and I just turned because obviously a wall is in front of me. I don't want to go inside that. Car flipped from behind, hit the right side of the tunnel, 360, left side of the tunnel, 360, right side of the tunnel. It was three times on each one. And then on top of the footpath and it stopped. 
a truck passes by after 10 seconds of the accident. If I would have done that 10 seconds later, I would have been along with him. And then my friend was sleeping next to me. He gets up and he's like, man, you should have parked in a better place. I like, get up. The car is totaled. The PRND was not there. It was just like, you know, like butter. I get down, oil is everywhere. Dashboard has come a bit crooked. The airbag did not come out. Like, lovely car. Wow. Got out and I was like, now what? I have to sort it out. Otherwise, I don't have the balls to pay bloody 65, 70,000 for this car. No ways. Good guy came in no time. And yes, he gave me a green paper. Took that green paper, went to the insurance company, uh, uh, rent a car company, gave it to them. That's it. Left out. I paid 1,000 dirhams because of my stupidity, because I didn't take my passport then and there. I told them the car is standing in city center parking lot, please go and pick it up. But they went and picked it up after four days and he charged me for those four days for parking and still he didn't go and pick it up. He just told me that you did not pay me. Paid in cash, I said, can I have my passport? Give me the passport. Went and he saw the car. Like, my car is total, what is this? I like, can't you read the accident paper? That's what it was. I was ready 24 seven. Till date at times I'm ready. See, it's not the matter you win, you lose or whatever it is. It's the fun. People nowadays, if they lose, they hold a grudge against you. Like, ah, how did I lose, man? Let us go, put some more money. Let me race him again. When two people are racing, obviously one will lose, one will win. Eat it and live with it. If one of the friend had a wow car, we all used to brag about it. Man, his car is fast. Wow. He's the man. We will call him out on the race. We will tell him to race with others. No problem if this guy beat my car. We will race with him. Zlatko is always there. First hand, we did swap meets where people could come and swap their parts. Like for example, I have got an exhaust system and I need headers and you have got the headers. You give me the headers, you take the exhaust. But I own a Jeep Cherokee as well. So the Jeep Cherokee has one bad issue which comes up. It's known as death wobble. You are going at a speed of 80, 90, you reach 100 and then that starts the shivering of the car. And the shivering is as such where it comes till where you don't get the speed till zero and then it goes. You know, the body is straight and the tires are just going. It's like a complete massage system, you know. One of my friend Roshan, he ended up spending 6,000 or 5,000 dirhams to solve that problem. I spent around 2,500 solving that problem. But now whenever whoever buys Jeep Cherokee, we help them out. We tell them about do this way. We have done it. You want to spend 6,000? Go to that Irani guy and get it done. You don't want to spend 6,000? Come to us. We will tell you what exactly is wrong. In terms of car enthusiasm, I'm still the same. Patience level has gone down, that's the age factor. Before I could sit and do something or, you know, take the time to rotate the nut and everything. My friends know about it a lot, now that I can't do that. I don't have the patience to, you know, are they karu, nahi karu, karu, nahi karu. And then when I get pissed, that nut is broken.